Paul Rusase Gabina was paraded in front of journalists at Rwanda's investigation bureau in the capital Kigali. For years, it's accused him of trying to attack Rwanda through rebel groups, something he's consistently denied. Wanted to answer charges of serious crime, including terrorism, financing terrorism and related offences, arson, kidnap and murder perpetrated, perpetrated against unarmed innocent Rwandan civilian on Rwandan territory. Rusasa Gabino was hailed as a hero for saving more than a thousand lives during Rwanda's genocide in 1994. He was the manager of an international hotel where hundreds of people sheltered from massacring soldiers and militia. About 800,000 people died in the killings, the majority of them ethnic Tutsis. It is very exciting. His role was documented in the 2004 Hollywood film Hotel Rwanda. Here, he's seen attending a screening of the movie in Berlin. He won multiple humanitarian awards, but he became critical of the government of President Paul Kagame. He said it protects an elite minority of Tutsis, it marginalizes the Hutu majority, and failed to bring justice for Hutus who were also massacred. The Hotel Rwanda narrative was once accepted in Kigali, but loyalists of President Paul Kagame began to criticize it after Rusasa Begina criticized his government. Others who've disputed the official account of the genocide have been killed or jailed. Rusesa Bagina accuses Kagame of impunity for crimes committed during the genocide. This is the point where they cannot agree. Kagame says he didn't commit any crime, when everybody knows, as well as Rusesa Bagina, that elements of Kagame's forces were behind the atrocities that took place from 1990 and after 1994. Rusesa Bagina lived in exile for more than 20 years. It's not clear exactly how he ended up back in Kigali in handcuffs. The investigation bureau said there was international cooperation, but gave no further explanation. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.